Do you give yourself permission to have what you want in your life? I mean, really seriously think about this. Do you give yourself permission to have what you want in your life? Because I've noticed a pattern lately where people seem to want or need something in their life, but yet they're rejecting it. They're not giving themselves permission to have it. This is Susie, your beautiful millionaire swan queen. Welcome back to the garden, my beautiful duckling. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my video. I will love you forever. I am a life coach with a 99.6% success rate in getting people back together with the love of their life. If you are interested in working with me one-on-one, please check out the links in the description below. I also am kind of in awe. Today is celebrating two years of being on YouTube. I can't believe that I've been actually doing this for two years and I just signed up my website for another three years. So I guess I'm committed for the next three years to do YouTube and absolutely helping people to drastically change their lives for the better. So I wanna thank everybody who watches my videos, follows me, your Support means the world to me, and I truly, truly do love you. So, giving yourself permission. When I first started painting after I went through my divorce, it took a lot for me to be able to paint. It still takes a lot for me to be able to paint. I am a neat freak. I talk about the fact that I'm a neat freak all the time and I think it's terrible that even though I technically live alone, I can't alphabetize my cabinets because people will come in and mess them up. I love my children and they do it deliberately just because they think they're being funny. So I just categorize things. So rices, pastas, you know, our soups, vegetables, are all within the same spectrum. And I can live with it because I gave myself permission to not have my cabinets alphabetized. But when it comes to painting, I make a mess. Painting is not the cleanest hobby in the world. You get paint on your clothes, paint on your uh, hands, your arms. Some, I even get paint on my feet. I do not know how I get paint on my feet, but I've been known to get paint on my feet and my legs. I have uh, tablecloths. I buy actual good quality tablecloths. The one that I have right now is like a $25 tablecloth that has uh, lilacs on it. It's real pretty tablecloth. And I line the carpet with the tablecloth. So if I'm painting and I drop paint, it doesn't go on the carpet, it goes on the tablecloth. And they're good quality vinyl, so the paint can't soak through the vinyl and get onto the carpet. But as soon as paint gets on the tablecloth, I start breaking out because it's a mess. So the best advice somebody gave to me a long time ago was to give yourself permission to be messy. And I'm like, I can't give myself permission to be messy. He said, can you give yourself permission to be messy when you paint? And I'm like, I have to think about it. Chalk, when you draw with chalk, it's the same way. Or you do some of the oil crayons, it's all the same way. They're messy. You have to give yourself permission to allow this manifestation to literally show up in your life. You have to give permission. So if you wanna get married, you are standing at the church, the courthouse, a beach, and you are asked, do you take this person to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you take this person to be your lawfully wedded wife? And you have to say, I do. So you have to give yourself permission to say, I do, to marry this person. So what happens? You're manifesting this person. You're stuck in the middle. You're not seeing changes. You're not seeing things shift. Nothing is showing up differently in the way the relationship is. Take a step back and actually think about this. 
if you're not giving yourself permission, you're rejecting the relationship. So if you give yourself permission to be in this relationship, I give myself permission to allow Jared to court me. I give myself permission to be happily married to Jared. I give myself permission to be a YouTuber. I give myself permission to be a life coach. Whether we realize it or not, we are giving ourselves permission or we're denying what we are trying to create. So when you're talking that backstory, yakety, 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 we're going to go with the backstory. Yak, 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 yak. You are telling the same three to four stories about the relationship. Well, he disrespected me because he said this, this, and this. He did this. Uh, that tells me that he doesn't want to be in a relationship. She did this. It's the same stories over and over again. It's not you. It's me. I need to work on myself. I need space. And then you don't hear from them. They were being honest with you. They needed to work on themselves. But you were not giving yourself permission to be in that relationship. So they said, I need space. You can heal whatever problems you have in your life while being in a relationship. You don't have to heal the problems in your life to be in a relationship. Let me say that again. You do not have to heal to be in the relationship. You have to choose to be in the relationship. You have to choose if this relationship is good or bad. So you have to give yourself permission to have a good relationship. You want this person that you love to change everything about them. It's beyond me why you would want to be with somebody that you have to change absolutely everything about. But that's not me. That's your choice. So it's like my ex-husband. If you were dating somebody like my ex-husband and you no longer wanted to be a narcissist and you wanted to be loving and trustworthy and faithful and you wanted him to spoil you, that would be totally changing. So that's why I don't understand because it's a lot of work to change a narcissist. That's why I gave up and walked away. So you want to change everything about this person. You have to give yourself permission to allow this person to show you that they are showing up as this new person you want. Which leads me to parallel realities and 3D. Throw them out, flush them down the toilet, burn them, send them to the moon, put them in the bottom of the ocean. Because parallel realities and 3D, it's ridiculous to even talk about that. Because you are saying in a parallel reality, I give this person permission to have my person. But in this reality, I'm still not getting them because she has them. It's like split the soul in half and one's an angel and one's a demon. Stop giving the other person control. Start giving yourself permission to have your needs met. If I have a need to want a cup of coffee, I want that need met. If I want ice cream, I want that need met. I had spaghetti for dinner tonight. I want cheesecake. So I would like that need met. Or tiramisu would even be better. So I had spaghetti. Let's have an Italian dessert. Let's have some tiramisu. When you give yourself permission to be in this relationship, to make X number of dollars a month, to change your life for the better, to even give yourself permission to change your story. So you want to be happily married to Jared. I give myself permission to be happily married to Jared. I give myself permission to allow Jared to show up in my life the way I need him to show up. Because if I'm just saying I give you permission to show up, that could still be that toxic person you guys are saying you want to change. Jared wasn't toxic, so I have no need to change him. 
All I have a need for is to change me and the perspective and the way I see the relationship. So I give myself permission. I thank Jared for showing up. But let's step this out one further. I give myself permission to be in this relationship with Jared. So I give myself permission to be happily married to Jared. I give myself permission to have a wonderful marriage with Jared. Universe, thank you for removing every and all blocks and the 7 billion people that may need to move to bring me that relationship. Universe, thank you for showing me you moved 7 billion people and all the blocks to this relationship. Because I gave myself permission, I can now thank the universe for doing what I wanted. I do not create on my own. Nobody truly creates on their own. If you want a free cup of coffee, so I get a free cup of coffee almost every day. I get a free cup of coffee probably six days a week. Literally, six days a week I get free coffee. Free coffee to me is just free coffee, but it's not really free. Somebody had to purchase that coffee. So if I'm going to my girlfriend's house and I'm getting a free cup of coffee because she's making coffee, she bought the coffee, She's paying for the water. She's paying for the sugar. She's paying for the cream. She's paying for the electricity to make the coffee and to keep the cream cold. That cup of coffee cost somebody something. So it's free to me, but somebody else had to pay for it. But I gave my permission to be spoiled. And in being spoiled, I get lots of wonderful things that people do that I like. They're not gonna bring me free tea because I don't like tea. They're not going to bring me, clicking off a phone call. They're not going to bring me Mountain Dew because I don't like those. If I'm spoiled, then people know what I like and they're going to bring me the things I like because I've given the universe permission to bring in the things that I like. So once you decide that you like this, a cute little thing that you can play with. I give myself permission so soon the universe is gonna show me that Jared is my husband. I gave myself permission so soon the universe is going to allow me to be happily married to Jared, however you wanna phrase it. I gave myself permission so soon I'll have a million dollars in the bank. I gave myself permission so soon I'll have a million subscribers on YouTube. I gave myself permission so soon I can have a puppy. You can play with this once you give yourself permission to have something. But if you don't have what you want, it's because you're rejecting it. So the opposite of rejection is permission. Somebody knocks on the door. Are you going to answer it? It's the love of your life. Jared's standing outside. Are you going to reject him? Are you going to be like, or are you going to say, hello, come on in. They're wondering what you're going to do. And when you give yourself permission to be in this relationship, they are literally going to show up for you but when you're rejecting the relationship because you're talking about those three or four stories that you cannot let go, give yourself permission to let the old story go. I give myself permission to let the toxic behaviors leave my life. I give myself permission to throw away the old story. I give myself permission to create this new life because the more you talk about what you want, what you desire, that your needs are being met, and you say soon it's gonna show up. Proof positive. I ordered a dress on Amazon Wednesday. Amazon said that it was going to be delivered on the 14th. And I was like, I ordered four dresses. So the first two dresses came in on Friday. The second, third one came in on Saturday. And they said, that the fourth one was supposed to come in on the 14th. 
Well, I got the dresses on Friday and I'm like, soon my other two dresses are gonna be in. Soon they're gonna be in. Saturday, I got my dress delivered and I also got an email saying it was delivered and another one saying that now my fourth dress was to be delivered on Monday. Well, I'm tinkering around the house today, playing with the kids. I get an email, my package was delivered. I'm like, package was delivered? What package? I don't expect you to go package today. It's supposed to be in Monday or Tuesday. I go outside, I open up the door, pick up my package, open up the package. My dress that was supposed to be in on Tuesday came in on Sunday, soon. When you talk about these things are coming into your life, I ordered it, Amazon will deliver it soon. When you say to somebody, I'm on the way to the restaurant, I'll see you soon. I am leaving work, I'll be home soon. I am going to the grocery store, do you need anything? Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Most of the time we say soon. I'll see you soon. Uh, it'll be in the mail soon. It's coming, it'll be here soon. You ordered pizza, it'll be here soon. You ordered DoorDash, it'll be here soon. You did Uber Eats, it'll be here soon. You know it's coming, you've already put in the order. But when you throw it to the universe, the universe has the option then of moving the seven billion people out of the way so you can have the one thing you want. I know a lot of you think that you are God, a lot of you think the universe is not a good word. So I honestly don't know if I should say God, the universe, angels, my higher power. So I created Minion Dave. Minion Dave is the person who takes the orders. You give Dave the order and you tell Dave, I give you permission to fill this order. Dave is gonna start working on filling your order. He's going to give it to Delivery Dawn. So Dave fills your order. He gives it to, to Delivery Dawn. Dawn is going to bring it to me. So I ordered this. Dave, I give you permission to bring it to me now so it'll be here soon. Think about how simple that is. Giving yourself permission to have what you want, knowing it'll be delivered soon. Life isn't complicated. It really is a box of chocolates. You open up that box of chocolates, you pick up a box, of, you pick up one, you take a bite into it. It's that nasty, creamy white thing that I just hate. And I spit it out in a napkin and I throw it in the trash. And then me being me, I go back in there because I still wanted a piece of chocolate and I grab another piece of chocolate. And I get the orange chocolate one. And that is my favorite in the whole box. I love orange chocolate and it's hard to get orange chocolate. I get that orange chocolate one and I savor it and I enjoy it. That's what I'm trying to teach you to do. While you are waiting for your package to be delivered, enjoy your life. Go work out, read that book, take that course, study for that exam, better yourself. If you want to learn to garden, start buying pots and garden. If you want to learn to knit, to crochet, paint. If you want to become a marathon runner, the only thing that is stopping you is that you are micromanaging your thoughts that you have to constantly affirm about this one thing that you want so you don't get to live your life. How cool is this? I think about Jared. I gave myself permission to be in a relationship with Jared. I give myself permission to be happily married to Jared. Dave, I'm giving you permission to fill the order for my wonderful marriage to Jared. Dawn's gonna bring it to me soon. I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna go call my girlfriend and go out for dinner. I'm gonna go play with the kids. I'm gonna go paint. I'm gonna go write a book. I'm gonna go do something that adds value to my life because when Jared knocks on that door you don't want him to be the only thing you are living for because I guarantee you if I knocked on your door I would go insane if you went to work came home from work sat on this couch waiting for me to show up I would feel suffocated I would be like don't you have a hobby 
Like, I'm sorry I got stuck in traffic and I'm 15 minutes late. Don't you have a hobby? Is there anybody else you talk to besides me? Because I need people to talk to. I can't just talk to one person for the rest of my life. So would you consciously create the way I teach you? You all of a sudden have a whole bunch of free time to go do all these other things that you want to in your life. Don't miss out on living your life because you're manifesting one thing. A million dollars in your bank account isn't going to allow you to go work out at the gym because once you get that million dollars, then your mindset is going to be, how do I keep it? Or how do I make that million dollars, two million dollars? So your obsession with the one million goes to the two million. You get this relationship with your specific person. You are now in a fully committed relationship with Jared and you're living with Jared. You stopped affirming that you're happily married to Jared and you start walking around saying you're bored because he's not home He's at work and you're not doing anything. You're bored. What do you think that is going to do to your relationship? Relationships work because we don't depend on that person for our happiness. We depend on that person to meet our needs for wanting companionship, a romantic relationship. But if you just want somebody to go out to dinner with, find a bestie. If you just want somebody to go for a walk with, find somebody who wants to go for a walk. Join a group of women or men who go for a walk every day. Build a life that includes things that you love because when you find things that you like to do, this person showing up isn't your whole reason and you're not suffocating them and you're not breaking up and you're stopping that cycle of we're together, we broke up. We're together, we broke up. We're hot, we're cold. We're hot, we're cold. Life is an adventure. It is meant to be lived to the fullest. Manifesting should not take up 90 hours of your week. It shouldn't be taking up more than your work hours. It should be done when you think about it because that's how you did it when you were a child, when you were a teenager, but something went wrong in your life and all of a sudden you stopped giving yourself permission to have that amazing life that you have always dreamed of. Take a little step, make a little change. And notice when you give yourself permission to have what you want, things start moving in the direction because you are telling the universe I'm giving you permission to deliver that to me now so I know it'll be here soon so I can go hit the gym and work out and not even think about it and then when I'm done with my workout I can go get something to eat and then when I get something to eat I can stop at the bookstore and I can buy a book and then when I come home I might drive home after I've done all my errands I can think about that person again and I can sit there and say you know what I am so blessed to have this wonderful marriage with Jared and I know that Delivery Dawn is going to bring it to me soon. So I'm going to go home, take a bubble bath, light some candles, read my book, listen to some classical music and enjoy the rest of my evening. Because I'm not missing the little things, waiting for a big thing to happen. You guys have an absolutely positively amazing day. As always, I love you. Leave me a comment and let me know how I am drastically changing your life for the better.